Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I uh, thought you never ask, Heidi. It is uh, Tuesday. It's the 25th day of October. It's Chucky, the no- Notorious Killer Doll Day. Oh, I love Chucky. You know... I always thought that was such a funny... It wasn't scary. It was funny. It is funny. But then there are people like, oh, that is such a scary movie. I'm like, it's That's not That's creepy scary. for people who it's don't like scary movies. funny. Um, National Greasy Food Day. Ooh, I love greasy food. I love greasy food, too. <laughs> it's also Sourest Day. So I don't know what that means. Okay. I do like Sour Patch Kids. Maybe I could celebrate with those. Um, and speaking of sour, we've got... Tuesdays with Charlie. <laughs> oh, that's not very I'm nice. just being silly. He's uh, he's going to be in the studio today. Remember he said he's never coming back here? He always says he's never yeah. coming back here. I think we're going to have him on the phone next week, but who knows? Maybe he'll stay. He's been here a while. I'm trying to convince him to move here, but he says no. He says no. He said he doesn't like us, but then he you know, hangs out with us all the time. <laughs> Tuesdays with Charlie coming your way. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At BetterCreditCards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. New study says some people really are mosquito magnets. Probably has to do with the way they smell. Researchers at Rockefeller University uh, found that people who are most attracted to mosquitoes, or most attractive rather to mosquitoes, produce a lot of certain chemicals in their skin, and they're tied to that smell. Bad news, if you're one of them, the bloodsuckers stay loyal to their favorites for a long time. They definitely like me. They like me. Heidi. They don't like me at all. I smell bad to a mosquito, and to most people. <laughs> uh, in a study, 64 volunteers wore nylon stockings around their forearms to pick up their skin smells. The stockings were then put in separate traps. Dozens of mosquitoes were released. The researchers found Yikes, that... Yikes, that doesn't sound like a fun study to no, me No, well, all. they weren't in the things at the time. Uh, mosquitoes consistently swarmed to the most attractive subjects. Over time, it was determined the biggest mosquito magnet was around 100 times more attractive to the mosquitoes than the least attractive to mosquitoes. It was found people with mosquito magnets uh, have high levels of certain acids on their skin. More bad news, you cannot get rid of this without damaging your skin. Mm. So. So did we learn anything in that? No. <laughs> Other than mosquitoes <laughs> like you more than they like me. <laughs> End of story. Great story, John. Thanks. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. How much do you pay for your wireless phone? Some people spend hundreds of dollars every month for their family. That's crazy! Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just $15 a month. Not 50, 15, 1, 5. Yeah, $15 a month for premium wireless. It's time for a Mintervention from Mint Mobile. You can keep your same phone number. You may even be able to keep your same phone. Find out now at Mintervention.com. Learn more and sign up today at Mintervention.com. Premium wireless for just $15 a month at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Did you know? Brought to you by RadioTravelGroup.com. Heidi, did you know? An unopened first-gen iPhone recently sold at auction at L.A. for a whopping $39,339.60. The original 8-gigabyte iPhone launched in 2007, featuring a 3.5-inch screen, sold for $499 back then. Classic phone, but which was a huge amount of money for a cell phone back then. Nowadays, cell phones, there are some that cost thousands of dollars. Classic phone attracted nearly 30 bids, by the way. Winner offered enough cash to buy 39 new iPhone 14 Pros. Taking into inflation into account, the auction uh, for the sale of the phone was 70 time, uh, 75 times more than the original price. Wow. So that was a lot of money they spent on a phone that is really old, 2007. They what are must they be do with that? very, very serious collectors. Maybe, or, or maybe they, I have no idea. There's got to be a reason, but I can't think of it. We don't know everything, but now we know this. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. ABC's Beauty and the Beast 30th celebration has found some people for the cast. Martin Short, uh, David Allen Greer from In Living Color, Shania Twain, they've all signed on to the project, and uh, many others as well. It's going to be featured in a two-hour reimagining of Beauty and the Beast 
taped in front of a live audience. It will air December the 15th on ABC TV, and it's going to be available the next day on Disney+. Plus. Uh, Matthew Perry's addiction struggles became so severe that he nearly died a few years ago. Yikes. The Friends star, loved for his portrayal of Chandler Bing, has written a memoir, Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing. It's available November 1st. I'm going to see if we can get him on the program to talk about his new book. That's awful. It, well, the book's not awful, but the addiction part is. And Kanye West is being sued for $250 million. For what? Uh, for being Kanye West. I'm not sure. He, <laughs> defamation, harassment. For being Kanye I don't know. West. Don't know. Big screen, little screen brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At BetterCreditCards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fix your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. You know the routine. You're at the supermarket cash register, already horrified at how much you're paying to feed your family. And then the smiling cashier cheerily says, would you like to add a dollar or two to support our whatever charity that we're doing today? Contrary to the common belief that shoppers feel good about making donations at checkout, new research says it actually heightens their anxiety. Agreed. University of Daytona and Ohio University researchers, I can't speak for some reason right now. I'm talking in cursive, that's all. Uh, They interviewed 60 shoppers asking them to describe what they felt when they were asked to donate while ringing up their purchases at a variety of retailers. Yeah. About 40% of the words, 40% of the words that customers used expressed negative feelings associated with anxiety, such as, I feel pressured. Yep. I feel annoyed. I feel concerned about being judged. 7% conveyed other negative sentiments, including, I feel guilty or I feel bad. The rest were neutral, such as, I felt indifferent. Only 20% of the words the participants used to describe their feeling were positive, Mm -hmm. such as, I felt nice or I felt compassionate. So they're saying, this is maybe not the best thing to do to put your customers. Especially in the middle of a recession. Yeah, to put your customers in a situation. And here's the thing, because I remember just recently, I was invited to round up for whatever and and I didn't do it because I didn't I couldn't really at the time it didn't make sense for me to do that. I would have had to have gotten money that I didn't have with me to do that. So I'm like, ah, I'm gonna just pass. And then Heidi said, Don't do that. Mm-mm. And why? What was your excuse, Heidi? Uh, because why would you donate to them so a giant corporation can have a tax write off at the end of the yeah. year? If you want to donate to a charity, donate directly to the charity. Exactly. Why are you going to help this giant And this was at a place that company, was a giant corporation. A giant corporation. Yeah. And then I was like digging just through. Just donate the, on your own if you want. Digging through my to. cup holder just to have the change for Yeah, no. It was fast food. That's all I'm going to say. Is anybody <laughs> shocked? No? I didn't think so. All right, Scoop of the Day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. How much do you pay for your wireless phone? Some people spend hundreds of dollars every month for their family. That's crazy! Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just $15 a month. Not 50, 15, 1, 5. Yeah, $15 a month for premium wireless. It's time for a mint intervention from Mint Mobile. You can keep your same phone number. You may even be able to keep your same phone. Find out now at Mintervention.com. Learn more and sign up today at Mintervention.com. Premium wireless for just $15 a month at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Time now for my favorite program, something we do every Tuesday just because we can. We reach out to my father-in-law for a little thing we like to call Tuesdays, Tuesdays with Charlie. Charlie. Tuesdays with Charlie on the John and Heidi Show. And I'm going to make you call me from now on. You, oh, you're not going to be Never coming back anymore? again. Right, Never you. again. I'm not through these ropes. I can get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what do you have for us today, Charlie? <laughs> and then, did you know that sleeping on your belly can lead to crazier, creepier, and more sexual dreams? No kidding. Wow. That would explain some of my crazy dreams. Yeah. I sleep on my stomach a I lot. I do, too. I had a weird dream the other night, so maybe yeah. that's why. I have to roll over, apparently. Huh. There you go. Hey, then, uh, a study from 2003 came to the conclusion that French people among all nations have the most frequent sex. No kidding. Hmm. Just the facts, man. Just the facts. <laughs> that's right. That's good. <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, then, nearly one in five Germans regularly use a laptop on the toilet. Oh, wow. A laptop on the toilet? That yep. would be very uncomfortable. Yeah, I don't think I'd like that at all. Hmm. Okay, now, you'll have to help me on that. Do you have an iPhone or an Android user? I, I'm an Android. Android. Both of you? Yeah. Yep. That figures. <laughs> people, what does that mean? Oh, yeah. People who own iPhones have sex more often compared to Android users. Yep, that's, that's, that's I agree that'd with be, that. That'd be accurate. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> See, once again, my facts are backed up by true stuff. Yeah. It's, well, I don't think you can blame that on the cell phone. <laughs> I think that's a little unfair. All right. What else do you have, Charlie? <laughs> <laughs> You guys just want to keep rambling along? I think, I think my wife is done talking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. In ancient Babylon, it is a tradition for every woman to go to the temple of Aphrodite. Aphrodite. Mm-hmm. Aphrodite at least once in her life to have sex with a stranger. What? Oh, my. Where is this? Babylon? Babylon. It's very awkward. I'm talking to my father-in-law about things <laughs> like this. <laughs> well, I was going to get us a couple tickets and go <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's Bob Dylan's real name? I don't know this. I can't think of it right now, though. Robert Allen Zimmerman. Yeah, that's it. Robert Allen Zimmerman. Little Bobby Zimmerman. Little Bobby. Sure. Hey, then, in the 1990s, the Michigan police organized a wedding of two of their undercover agents. Okay. Numerous drug dealers have been invited and were arrested during the wedding ceremony. Oh, wow. That's a good idea. Oh, that, was, that was pretty clever. Oh, yeah. yeah. I wonder why they don't do that more often. Well, because eventually... Well, they did it once. Catch on to that. Yeah. That's why I skip most of the weddings I'm invited to. (laughs) Not getting busted again. I ain't going to fall for this a 13th time. Okay, and I'm going to ask you a question. Oh, what's that? The average person, which we know you're a little above average, watches their favorite movie how many times in their lifetime? Oh, my gosh. 13. I'll say 38. 29. Oh, my goodness. Heidi's closer. But if it's closer without going over, I win because you went over. But my truth would be it's probably closer to 38. So, no, I seriously, I will watch my favorite movie over oh, and yeah. over no, and I know. over. I've had the chance to watch it with you. I get that. Yeah. One fifth of all people use their smartphones during sex. What? One fifth? One fifth. 20% of people? It's got to be at least 45%. <laughs> during... <laughs> I'm Googling Crock-Pot recipes. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> what color should we paint the ceiling? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's been such an awkward program today. My wife and my father-in-law, and we're talking about this. Stuff. Well, Charlie, I'm going to change the subject. Are you ready for a question? Almost aced them all. All right. <laughs> you probably got like four right in the entire time we've done this. One inch square column of air that would be 600 miles high, how much would that weigh? That's a long ways up there. It is. It wouldn't weigh anything because air doesn't weigh wrong, anything. Wrong, Heidi. You're wrong. If it was Sorry. 350 feet in the air, I could tell you, but 600, I'm a little baffled. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry for using such big numbers. <laughs> uh, 1.8 million. No. Heidi, how about you? How many pounds, Heidi? Throw out a number. He was way high. I was at 18. 18 pounds? <laughs> You're real close. It's 15 pounds. Whoa! Oh, yeah. A column of air, one inch square, 600 miles high, weighs 15 pounds. I didn't think it weighed much because air doesn't weigh anything. Well, it weighs 15 pounds, apparently. Well, Charlie, thanks for coming in, man. <laughs> I definitely, I'm gone. I'm out of here. It's always good to see you. <laughs> Bye, Fluff. Bye, John. Bye, Dad. Bye. Don't call me. I'll call you. My father-in-law right there. We talk to him every Tuesday just because we can. It's a little program we like to call Tuesdays, Tuesdays with Charlie. Charlie. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At BetterCreditCards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Scientists believe that people who dream about an activity will actually get better at that activity in real life. Wow. I dream about radio broadcasting all the time. Do you Am I getting better? Do you dream about (laughs) radio broadcasting? No, I'm not getting better. (laughs) Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Reed Hastings. First of all, do you know that name? 
I Reed know Hastings. the name, but I don't know why. He was inspired to start a company after he racked up a $40 late fee on a VHS copy mm. of Apollo 13. That yep. company is Netflix. Yep. Yeah. He got a $40 late fee at uh, Blockbuster, actually. And then he went out and fired up Netflix. And now Blockbuster is out of business everywhere but one place. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Michael Jackson's shiny glove was actually a modified golf glove. Was it really? Yeah, that's pretty cool. And our final fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? In 2006, somebody tried to sell New Zealand on eBay. The price got <laughs> up to $3,000 before eBay shut it down. So I wonder how much it would have <laughs> sold for. Like to buy New Zealand? Uh, All right, several fun facts. Now, you know, thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. How much do you pay for your wireless phone? Some people spend hundreds of dollars every month for their family. That's crazy! Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just $15 a month. Not 50, 15, one five. Yeah, $15 a month for premium wireless. It's time for a Mintervention from Mint Mobile. You can keep your same phone number. You may even be able to keep your same phone. Find out now at Mintervention.com. Learn more and sign up today at Mintervention.com. Premium wireless for just $15 a month at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. Yay! It's brought to you by Mintervention.com. Here's a question, Heidi. If you're going to do this, you probably started planning it 45 days in advance. What is it? Take a vacation. No. Wear a Halloween costume. Oh. Yeah. Have you ever done like the very, very last minute? I'm going to just do this. Yeah, it never turns it out doesn't. well. It, at least for me. I don't know. Maybe for some people it does, but for me, it, no. it usually turns into, so what are you supposed to be? Yeah, yep. <laughs> Mint Mobile question of the day comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At BetterCreditCards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Time now for some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Elon Musk is in the news. He has uh, scented a new way to make money. Last week, he launched a perfume. Burnt Hair is the name of the perfume. <laughs> okay. He claims that he that sold... That guy is super interesting, he man. Cl- well, he's just... He's cool in a weird way. He claims that he sold 10,000 bottles and earned a million dollars in just a few hours on Twitter. Musk, who now describes himself on the platform as a perfume salesman, wrote... <laughs> With a name like mine, Musk, getting into fragrances was inevitable. Burnt hair, which goes for $100 a bottle, is described on its website as the essence of repugnant desire. Repugnant desire. Wow. Shipping starts early next year for the new product from a guy whose boring company sold flamethrowers at $500 a piece in early 2018, raising $10 million doing that. So he's got all kinds of weird he's stuff. He's really interesting. And it's just bizarre stuff, too. He lands in the weird news quite a bit. So that's where he is. Weird news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. John and Heidi. Time now for the list brought to you by bettercreditcards.com. Best Halloween episodes to watch. TV shows that had like a Halloween episode. Okay. Here's a list of them. Parks and Rec, Halloween Surprise. Apparently that one's good. The Office, Halloween there's a Halloween episode, apparently, that uh, Jim is torturing Michael or something or other. Uh, the Simpsons Treehouse of Horror 5. They do one every year, but right. apparently that one was apparently really, really five good. five was really good. Yeah. Um, Boy Meets World, and then there was Sean. Okay. Uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Fear Itself, Freaks and Geeks, Tricks and Treats, uh, American Horror Story, Halloween, uh, Friends. These the are one- very random. Yeah. Friends, the one with the Halloween party, Modern Family Halloween, and Roseanne Boo Halloween episode. All of those are, again, the best Halloween episodes to watch. There's details on what each one of them has going on and why they're good. You can read that if you want. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At BetterCreditCards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some 
people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way courtesy of InsuranceChicken.com. Here's your quote today. It's from Ellen DeGeneres. She said, My grandmother started walking five miles a day when she was 60. She's 97 now. And we don't know where the hell she is. (laughs) (laughs) That is so funny. I had to bleep myself because of the quote, but it was funny. Thank you for sending that in. You can submit your quotes at the bottom of the page at johnandheidyshow.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news. And I think this is good news. It comes your way courtesy of radiotravelgroup.com. Here's your headline for today, Heidi. Uh, <laughs> Okay, what you, John. What are you laughing at? <laughs> wow. This is the way you said it. All right. Uh, our t- our uh, headline is, I just give from my heart, Dolly Parton receives philanthropy award. We just had Dolly's sister on the program last yes, week. We Super did. nice lady, and by I the way, Stella. I think gardener is on next Would week. Would you stop it? <laughs> Everybody in the office makes fun if of me lucky. for having celebrities, <laughs> siblings, and children. Just leave me alone. <laughs> Stella Parton is also a celebrity. She is a singer. She is an actress. And she's a super nice lady. Leave me alone. Uh, Dolly was one of the six honorees to receive a Carnegie Medal of Philanthropy on Thursday of last week. This was at the uh, Gotham Hall in New York. She was celebrated along with Dallas entrepreneur Linda Hill, a Kenyan industrialist Manu Shandera, Lynn and Stacy Scheusterman from the Oklahoma Investment Family and World Kitchen for their extraordinary contributions that they have done to make the world a better place. It has been revealed that Dolly has been quietly paying for the band uniforms for many Tennessee high schools for many, many years. She uses the royalties from her music that she earned from a little song called I Will Always Love You. And it's done really well when she sang it. But then Whitney Whitney. Houston recorded it. And she has a ton of money that comes in from that. And she said, you know what? I want to use that for something good. Mm -hmm. So she helps a bunch of smaller schools that struggle, many in African-American communities. And she said, I want this money to go to that. And I think that is just fantastic. She's uh, helped raise $700,000 to help residents that were uh, impacted by catastrophic flooding in Middle Tennessee in 2021. She's just done so many amazing things. She's a neat lady. They gave her this award, and I say she absolutely deserves it. And she was just the the greatest. There's a video if you want to read it. I don't have time, because Heidi spent enough time picking on me for talking to Dolly. (laughs) If you want to see it, it's all in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show.